Generally speaking, I'm very bullish on REITs today. They are priced at their lowest valuations in many years, with some individual REITs being offered at large discounts to their net asset values and high dividend yields. Therefore, I'm a net buyer of REITs today. But that doesn't mean that I'm bullish on every one of them. This is a vast and versatile sector with over 200 REITs out there and not all of them are worth buying. In fact, we just recently sold two of our holdings at Hired Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter. And in today's video, I want to discuss these two REITs with you. Hey everyone, this is Yossi, I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And before we get into the first REIT, could you please do me a favor and like this video? That will really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much for your support. So the first REIT that I want to discuss here is called Boardwalk REIT. Its ticker symbol is BEI.UN. This is a Canadian apartment REIT that we have previously covered on this channel. We even shared an exclusive interview with the company's CEO. And if you got to see this research on time and acted on it, you're probably sitting on a nice profit today. We first invested in this company in October of 2020 when it was very heavily discounted and we estimated that it would offer up to 100% upside potential. Now almost three years later the company has generated an over 150% total return which is about 10 times more than the average of the REIT sector. Therefore our investment thesis has now more or less played out, the discount has disappeared, the company is now priced at an implied cap rate of about 4.5% which is not particularly compelling anymore. At the same time, there are some other apartment REITs that are today priced at materially lower valuations. One of them that we've covered quite a few times on this channel is called BSR REIT. BSR is a small Canadian REIT that's investing in apartment communities in Texas and it's today priced at a 40% discount to its net asset value and a roughly 6.5% implied cap rate, so over 200 basis points higher than Boardwalk REIT. We would much rather buy more shares of BSR today, which is one of our top picks, and for this reason, we've recently decided to sell Boardwalk to reallocate our capital elsewhere. Then the second REIT that we sold recently is called Bricksmore Property Group, ticker symbol BRX. This is an American REIT that invests in service-oriented strip centers. There's really nothing exceptional about this REIT. Its properties are average, its balance sheet is good, but it isn't exceptional. And then the management, while it has done a good job, it doesn't have a long track record running a public company. But the interesting thing about Bricksmore that really caught our attention back in 2018 was that its rents were deeply below market. Market. Bricksmore had recently acquired this portfolio. The previous owner had neglected these properties and as a result they were suffering significant deferred capex. Bricksmore had an opportunity here to heavily reinvest in the properties to make them more desirable, bump up rents, bump up occupancy rates, build new cash flow and create shareholder value. Bricksmore had proven that it was able to earn a 10% NOI yield on its value add investments which was a significant spread over its cost of capital. Best of all the company had significant liquidity and it was also retaining a lot of cash flow allowing it to reinvest in its properties organically without having to tap the public equity market. So all in all this was a very simple investment thesis of bringing the rents back to market and while we waited we would earn a 7% dividend yield which is what it was offering back in 2018 when we invested in the shares of the company. But now nearly five years later the investment thesis has more or less played out. Their rents still have some upside but they're already quite a bit higher than back in 2018. Moreover, the company's valuation has expanded quite a bit even despite the recent surge in interest rates. This allowed us to earn an attractive total return even as most other REITs underperformed the market. But at this point today, the REIT is not particularly compelling anymore. It's now priced at 15 times AFFO, which is quite a bit of a premium compared to some of its close peers. For this reason, we sold our position, we took our gain, and we reinvested the proceeds into another REIT that we think is quite a bit more compelling at this time. Now, if you want to access my current REIT portfolio, feel free to join my REIT newsletter, Hired Landlord, for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. And otherwise, once more, if you could please like this video, that will really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much for all your support and see you at my next one. Bye-bye.